Welcome to the Wolf Chase Toyota Insider on the Memphis Tiger Network. I'm Jeff Bryant alongside Lee Taylor Walker, women's tennis coach at the University of Memphis. And coach, things are going very well for you right now. 2-0 and over a couple of ranked teams over the weekend. 42nd ranked Kansas State, number 770 Columbia, 4-3. So uh, yeah. things are going really well. It was a good weekend. It was a stressful weekend. Uh, the matches were very tight. Um, we actually had an opportunity to finish off Kansas State pretty early in the match, but um, their top players fought back really hard. But I'm um, very proud of the team. I mean, these wins were not how you would draw them up as a coach, neither one of them. Like, they were very just unpredictable. Um, but the team showed a lot of character and uh, came through against a really, really two quality teams. So the rankings right now just aren't exactly reflective of where the teams are because Columbia is a very strong team. So even though they're listed at 70, we're, we're pretty confident they'll finish in the high 30s, low 40s. You, you talk about the rankings. We'll talk more about the matches in a moment. We were talking just before the show. Is tennis is a little bit different. The first few weeks or months, whatever it is, it's all in the coaches' vote, but it's about right. to go to a computer poll. So all the right. coaches' votes just kind of go out the window and it's exactly. what the computer says. Yeah, this will be today will be the last rankings that are released with coaches' votes. So. We project we'll probably go somewhere in the 40s uh, today, but next Tuesday, yeah, it's all just computer-based formula. So um, really, it'll, it'll all take care of itself by the end of the year. Uh, the, the win over 42nd ranked Kansas State, really big. It was the highest ranked opponent the program's beaten. Yeah, it was great. A, a little bit of an awkward match, just because like we said last week, we played them five weeks ago in an individual tournament and beat them uh, pretty handily. But again, the dual match format's a lot different, mm -hmm. and um, it was a very intense environment. I t I'll tell you what, Friday night was exciting, though, because you probably couldn't fit one more person in the U Club. It was packed, and so a big thanks to everybody that came out, because it was a great atmosphere for the team to play in, and they probably put us over the edge to get through that match. You mentioned that match. Uh, Stephanie McCash clinched the victory 7-5, 6-2 in that number five single spot. And, and like you said, that's the second time you guys had to face Kansas State. Yeah, no, it was big for Stephanie. You know, Stephanie hasn't been playing great, but for her to stay disciplined and pull that match out for our team was huge. And so, um, you know, she's been working really hard and uh, looking forward to her to get back on her winning ways. Didn't have a great weekend, but like I said, for her to be able to keep her composure, mm -hmm. even when she's not feeling great and clinch that for us was big. Sometimes those are the, like you said, the biggest matches. When you're not like on your A game, you've got to try to find exactly. a way to grind it. Through. No, exactly. She showed a lot of character in that one. The uh, match against Columbia, uh, number 70 Columbia, you had to come from behind. The final three singles matches were come from behind victories as well. Yeah, I mean, Columbia is a great team. I mean, there's really no other way to say it. They're good. We played Sunday morning at 9, not an ideal start. <laughs> and um, I could kind of sense it coming that, I don't know if we're ready. Just because of the rankings number, just they don't give you a true idea of what's, you know, what they're like. I mean, our girls, I'm sure they saw their ranked 70, so it's like, oh, we just beat the 42 team, we're playing 70, no big deal. But I knew they were better. And um, sometimes there's nothing you can do about it, except you start the game and you know, an hour into it, we're down 1-0, got crushed in doubles. And I think that was kind of a wake-up call to the team. Um, but and the end of the match was exciting to be down 3-1 and come back with Lisa leading the way over a ranked girl to come back after losing the first set and then for Alyssa and Caroline to really uh, finish that match out. I mean, plus it was two freshmen and one sophomore that finished the match out for us. So a lot of character from the, the young, young part of the team. Lisa played very well, and we're talking about Lisa Timchenko. She is the player of the week, so she was able yeah. to garner that honor. Yeah, I mean, Lisa's had a great weekend. I mean, Friday night, great come from behind win against Kansas State in three sets. Saturday, she got a wild card into the qualifying tournament of the WTA at the Racquet Club. Played, uh, played in that and did really well. And then Sunday comes back and does that. So a lot of tennis for Lisa <laughs> over the weekend. Uh, but. She really raised her level. She's she's pretty confident right now. Well, you got to keep things going now. It doesn't get any easier. In fact, you're gonna you're gonna move up. You've got Virginia Sunday at 10 o'clock at the University Club, uh, and Virginia is gonna be a stout challenge. Virginia's a great team, uh, but those wins this past weekend on the same facility we're gonna be playing them at give us tons of confidence. And so, honestly, the 
it's interesting the rankings and the level of teams you never know who's going to show up and what the level is going to be like but Sunday against Columbia was a high level of tennis mm -hmm. and our girls having get to play during the pro tournament this week is a very high level of tennis so to be honest like I don't think our team will be shocked at all by the level of competition with Virginia I think if they can look past the number next to their name we're very ready to to beat a team like Virginia and I think I think we will all right, Coach, uh, congratulations on a great yeah. weekend and best of luck this weekend. Thanks a lot. That is Lee Taylor Walker. I'm Jeff Brightwell. This is the Wolf Chase Toyota Insider on the Memphis Tiger Network.